We're gonna show you how to create a secured network. This will come in handy if you want to be the only person that can control your lights. So in order to do this, we are going to click on our BT app here. And I'd like you to check out up here under settings. If you see here, current home is set as the default home. That's gonna be the standard uh, setting there. So if I have somebody else's phone and I click on the BT app, you'll notice because I have it set as default home, this person's phone can also pick up all of the fixtures and they too would be able to control all of the fixtures. So we've been able to change the lights with somebody else's phone. So I'm gonna show you how to create that secured network. I'm gonna move this person's phone out of the way and I'm gonna bring back my phone so that you can see how we do this. If you click on the settings up here and go to default home, click on this little arrow, you can now see I have my home list here and I can click on this little plus sign to add a new home. So we're gonna call this home Renee and I'm gonna confirm that there. And then down here at the bottom, it says add device. So I'm gonna click on add device and it's gonna pull up all these guys right here that it sees. Now watch as they all fill up the screen here and they've all been renamed as Renee and a number. Again, this is why you would want to do this first. So any renaming doesn't get lost. It's picked up all eight fixtures. So we're gonna stop adding fixtures here and go back and you see now our selected home is Renee. Now if we go back to this other person's phone, you'll be able to see in just a second that they won't be able to discover any of the fixtures. If you'd like somebody else to have access to operating your lights, all that you need to do is share your home setting that you've created. And we're gonna show you how to do this. Again, right now on this person's phone, they can't pick up any of the fixtures. So I'm gonna move this guy out of the way here, bring back my phone. And again, you see the current home here is set to Renee. If I click on that and I go ahead and slide this guy over just slightly, you'll see it says share and add. So I'm gonna click on share and it gives me this nice little QR code here. If I go back to this other person's phone and I go into their settings and I go into default home and I go to add, you'll see this menu pull up. It says add new home or scan QR code. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select scan QR code and then if I raise it up here, it scans that QR code and it is now picked up Renee's default setting for the home. So I'm gonna click back on this guy right here and you can see it's the current home is set to Renee on this other person's phone. And now they can see all of the lights.